everyone, it is Alicia, the creepy demon version here. Um, <laughs> I have created this super creepy, super gory and demony look. Um, it's inspired by Zoran Blitz on Instagram. Definitely go and check him out. He is super talented. He's just one of those accounts where you come across and you're like, yep, follow straight away. I was thinking, okay, what am I going to film this week? And then I was like, oh my gosh, I so miss filming my scary and gory SFX makeup looks. Um, I know it's not Halloween, but I know that when Halloween time does come close, you guys may watch this video. Or if you guys just find watching these videos fun, then I've made this video for you. Um, and also if you guys are like makeup artists or you like getting creative on Instagram this could be for you but yeah I literally enjoyed painting my body in red and just chatting about life um, and yeah this is actually super creepy like who has a normal chat with their audience looking like this obviously me. I'm such a big horror movie fan. Um, I've always liked watching scary stuff. I know it's not for everybody, but that's just who I am. It just reflects the weird person that I am inside. <laughs> oh my god, this wig is going out of control. My teeth look so yellow next to this face paint, and my teeth are honestly so white. So if you already have really yellow teeth, do not paint your face white because it will give you insecurities. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more SFX makeup tutorials and gory stuff and scary stuff, um, then leave this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see how to get this creepy demon look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here I am, barefaced. I know, a little bit crazy. Look at this regrowth. Like, this is so insane. But that's why I have my handy friend, this wig. And oh my gosh, it makes my hair look so yellow when I put it next to it. Eh. I'm taking the Makeup Revolution SFX White Base Face Paint. Um, so I used this quite a lot a few months ago when I was like practicing some makeup looks. Um, and this is really good um, just to like get your face super white. Um, and Zoran Blitz on Instagram, like his looks are really cool. He's got super white bases. So let's hope that this lives up to the test. So it's like we're putting on our foundation. So we want to put this all down. I don't know how far we're going to bring it, how far I'm going to get the photos. By the way, this Makeup Revolution SFX base is only $8. So I got mine off Beauty Bliss NZ if you guys are wondering. Oh my god, I look crazy. Okay, looks like I've got some kind of disease. But we're going to take a beauty blender. This one's also from Kmart, literally. You go to the beauty section in Kmart, they've got so many like tools and just things that you need. So anyway, I'm going to blend this in. This is why I didn't put any foundation underneath. There's no point because you're just going to make yourself white as anyway. <gasps> and this honestly hurts your arm. Because <laughs> you have to keep going and going and going and going. And by the way, I'm not a pro at SFX makeup. A lot of you guys seem to think I am. Um, but honestly, I'm not. Oh my god, I'm actually getting out of breath blending. Do I have corona? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do like an upside down cross because I always do... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I always do stuff like that. I don't know, it's just kind of scary and reminds me of the conjur conjuring. I find that this Bys or BYS um, Scar Wax is the easiest that I have worked with because it's really soft. Um, and you can get this from Spotlight if you are from New Zealand. Um, and if you're from overseas, just type it online, it might come up. Don't listen to me if this goes wrong. <laughs> okay, so take a big clump of Scar Wax. Um, and if you have just liquid latex, then you can use that as well. So I'm going to roll this like a worm. It's kind of like clay. I'm going to place it on my head like this. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to literally just flatten this into my head. Honestly, you guys need this BYE Scar Wax. Like, if you have tried Scar Wax before and if you're about to give up, don't give up because it is just the Scar Wax you're using or it's because you're not melting it into the right consistency. But I just feel like all of that's just such a waste of time. Like, if you buy a Scar Wax that already has a good consistency and is easy to mold and just put straight on your skin then that's good so yeah okay so what i'm doing now is taking the makeup revolution sfx white base face paint this is a liquid version of that other base that i showed you as you can see and i'm just gonna like tap this carefully all over the cross and around the cross and also what i'm gonna do is like 
pack it in my eyebrows to just kind of disguise them. My eyebrows are so bloody hairy. <laughs> And the good thing with this liquid paint is that you can literally just pack it on the brush. This is a brush from Paradise Makeup AQ, by the way. This is from Meron. This is what I got with the face painting watercolor palette. Now we're going to set the white that we just blended all over the body. Like, it feels like I've had to keep blending and blending and blending and blending this. And I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder. So I'm taking my NYX Professional Makeup Brush in 03 and I'm just going to dip that in. And make a big powdery mess. Literally, if you feel patchy from the white paint, you just set it with this powder and then all your problems go away. <laughs> I didn't realize this setting powder was gonna be so good. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this powder. Holy moly, it makes me realize how yellow my hair is when I have a white body. <laughs> Cross isn't gonna be perfect, but I actually don't care at this point. Um, so now we're going to shape the cross. So we're gonna take the sharp end of the spatula and just dig it in and make like the cross area where we're gonna put in the like blood. Get in there, just don't slide off the scar wax off your face because right now that's kind of happening. So what you wanna do is grab your scab blood and I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the end of a spatula. Um, this is from Ben Nye, by the way. This is the Ben Nye Fresh Scab Blood. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red from the Meron um, Paradise Makeup 8 Color Palette. So it's this one here and it's a nice dark red. I'm going to take a small brush. I just buy my brushes from Warehouse Stationery. These are water activated paints, so you need to take some water and swirl it around. Okay, so we're going to take this paint and we're gonna just make like blood splat effects. I don't know how I did all of this stuff without water activated paints. I had to buy all of these like special paints and stuff this year for a special project which I can't tell you about. Anyway, um, nothing new has happened with me here. All I'm doing every day in quarantine is makeup looks um, or I was filming videos for um, the childcare center that I work for, um, for the parents on the Facebook page, like just lots of activity ideas. So that was keeping me busy and also like lots of makeup looks and obviously YouTube videos every week. Um, and yeah, it's just given me a chance to kind of get a little bit more creative and do more creative looks for you guys. So at the moment on Instagram, I'm like doing a gaming series where I just do like looks on all of my favorite games at the moment and a lot of you guys seem to be liking that. Um, and the reason why I started off a gaming series was because I started to play Spyro in the first two weeks of quarantine. Now I've mastered all three games so I'm just like oh man. Um, and then I decided to buy Sims. So anyway are you guys playing any like games right now in quarantine? Um, what are you guys playing? I know a lot of you guys are playing Sims because that's why I downloaded it because I've seen a lot of people playing it and I was like, oh, I want to play Sims again. Oh, okay. I'm going to take a stippling sponge and see what effect this gives. Blood splatter effect. Okay, I like that. Kiki, do you love me? Oh, okay, it's starting to look good. You just have to keep going and going. I looks like some kind of joker, but I'm secretly loving this. Tell me guys, like, what are you guys excited to see next? I know a lot of movies are being postponed because of this whole coronavirus situation so let me know like what movies you're looking forward to seeing i'm personally looking forward to seeing venom 
um, which is releasing in June. My Venom look went viral on Met Done on Facebook, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then so many people started doing Venom looks. Also, what me and Matthew have been doing in quarantine is uh, watching a lot of Netflix. So we have been watching Out of Banks at the moment and it's like a series and it's like really good. It's about um, lots of young kids that go on a search for treasure on an island. It is really cool. Like I seen a few people recommend it on um, Instagram. So I was like, okay, let's just watch this. And yeah, we've really been getting into that one. Um, if you want other movie recommendations, Exemption is really good. These both things are like trending in New Zealand, by the way. Shaft is also really good. We watched that the other day. We watched Stranger Things. I really like that. Um, so if you guys are like into ghostly kind of stuff, then you'll probably like Stranger Things. What do you guys recommend? Like have you guys been watching anything on Netflix? Yeah, that's been my life, honestly. I look like a creep, a creep, a creep. I look like a creep. Yes, I do. I look like a creep, but I like being a creep. Creep, 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 I do. Oh, we are going into level three next week, by the way, which means like some businesses can go back to work and some people can go back to work um, and takeaways will be open, only like drive throughs and some shops will be open. We just have to follow like really strict protocols. Um, and like for me, I work in an early childhood center three days a week, but there's only like three or four kids coming in in level three. So I get to just stay at home, but I'm gonna be doing like the learning stories and all of that kind of stuff from home for the next like two weeks or for however long it takes for like parents to start coming back. Um, so I'm glad I get to stay at home, um, especially having like higher risk people in my family. Like it does make you worry a little bit, but just know guys, everything's gonna be all right. I don't know why I like gory stuff in horror movies. I think when we were younger, the favorite thing to do was to go to the video store and just buy horror DVDs and thrillers and um, my uncle would always come over and would always watch them together and it was always like so fun like it was always a big part of my childhood ever since we were younger like we've always celebrated Halloween would always go down the streets of like dodgy Auckland um, well Auckland's not dodgy but like <laughs> we used to live in not so nice suburbs and my parents would still let us out like as young as seven and eight and like go and roam the streets and ask for lollies and would used to bring back so many lollies. And yeah, that's just always like, Halloween's always been a part of my childhood and that's always a like memory that I remember. This whole coronavirus thing it stopped a lot of plans like me and Matthew definitely wanted to go to Japan because Japan is really badly affected and I think we won't be able to travel for a long time now yeah those plans are kind of scrapped and the last time I went somewhere was um, to Cambodia with Wella so that was a work trip as well no that's a bit sad but what can you do We're gonna take some contact lenses. So these are from the brand Fantasy Fashion Colored Contact Lenses. And the packaging looks like this. But I have got mine installed in here. And I absolutely hate putting contact lenses in. Um, and I'm so glad I've got no like nails on because it's almost impossible with a long fake nail. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I know my hair is like a little bit of a mess. This wig is just absolutely crazy, but whatever. We will fl we will tame the flyaways later. This is like my favorite wig. It's like the perfect color. So this is the finished creepy makeup look. I hope you guys liked this and liked watching me paint and ramble at the same time. And thanks to Zorin Blitz for inspiring me for this look today. If you guys wanna see more SFX and creepy videos like this, then definitely give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any video recommendations down below in the comments. I always read and reply to all my comments and I'm always so happy when you guys leave a comment on my videos. So I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you're staying safe and well and I'll see you guys my next week's video. Bye!